I want to show you how to uh, go ahead and run those commands to get everything installed so that you can run the geospatial modeling environment. As you can see here, I have R already open. Here's the command prop. That's where you're going to type things. Easiest way to do this is install R, then go to the web page and select this first set of commands, Control C, and then I'm going to Control V, and when I hit return, you see it's saying, uh, please select a crayon mirror that's just asking where to download it from. So you can pick any of these. Probably won't make a difference, but why not get something that's close? So uh, Iowa uh, from USA is Iowa State. When you hit OK, now it's going to go to that server and it's going to download things. And you see that it's doing that here. Okay. Um, and so that's really all you need to do is you just need to tell it where to go and download the things and then just let it work. When it's done downloading, it will install everything. And I'm not going to make you sit and watch through all that, but that's it. And when it's done, then just come down here and select these two, copy them, paste them into R the same way, and run them, and then that will actually launch a different Windows installer for StatCon. Just go through, accept all the defaults for StatCon, and when you're done, you'll have both of those installed. Then you can install the GME, and it should run just fine. And if we go back to R, we see it's still downloading. So, that's it. Um, let me know if you got any questions. Um, once uh, you've completed downloading everything for R, one final thing I'd like to mention is you only have to do this once when you're setting things up. Once you've installed uh, all these packages and installed StatCon, that's it. They're installed. So don't do this every time. The next time you run the geospatial modeling environment or you run R, all these things are already installed shouldn't have to use them. So make sure you're not doing this every time. Great.